I can't believe it. It's finally spring in Amsterdam. Oh my God. It's like halfway May, but we're there. The sun is shining and it's finally really warm. It's so nice. Let's go out and play. So I'm just gonna have lunch in the sun, but first I have to go to a bookstore because dream come true. I am featured in one of the bigger Mindstyle magazines in the Netherlands. There we go! Oh my god! Can't believe it! Cool! It's so bizarre. What I find the most annoying part is that you don't see the pictures that they make after the photo shoot. And I've had it once that I didn't really like the picture, although it was a big magazine. But you can't really do anything about it. And I think mostly of that picture, it wasn't really me. But you guys judge. What do you think? I think this is me. Bizarre, but very cool. I'm very honored, so thank you, happiness, so much. This is Happy Love, which is basically like a special of happiness. They have a few specials a few times a year. And this one is all about love. Okay, so I am now going to have lunch at Huize Frankendal. It's basically the Merkenbach restaurant. I know, very Dutch. Which is a cafe restaurant in Amsterdam East. And especially when it's summertime, it's quite hard to find a terrace in Amsterdam where you still have space. Usually they have space here and it's just like a very nice calm area. So it's quite perfect for days like these. Look, enough space. Seriously, that was so nice. Such a nice place to sit and just chill, completely wind-free. I am so warm right now, it's crazy. And where am I? I am currently in a garden center in Amsterdam. It is called the Intratuin. <laughs> this is heaven for me. Of course, it's spring, so I really have to upgrade my balcony. And it's just the worst because everything dies because I travel so much, but at the same time, I really enjoy gardening. <laughs> so I'm just gonna buy some little things here. Yeah, let's go. God, I think uh, the entire population of the Netherlands has been waiting for this weather. And it's so nice. I wish I could live in a country where, well, where it's a climate like this every single day. I kept it very simple. I just bought some organic potting mix. I need a new one. And then I bought these. Seriously, how expensive are these things? Crazy. And this is an important change for me. I only bought these. It's basically just a mix of wildflowers. This is basically because I thought, oh my God, I will leave to Ibiza in a week. When I leave to Ibiza, I will be gone for about two months. And why would I now buy plants? Because I basically saw all these cute plants and every single year, I don't know if you recognize it, but every single year I buy like maybe 200 euros of new plants. And then usually, they die within a few months and it's just like I can throw it away again and I love plants I seriously do but I just don't have the lifestyle yet to be able to really have like my green lush balcony that I can take care of every single day so I thought okay let's start off with this because if it dies it's not a big well not such a big problem because this was only like five euros this is also just way nicer to actually see because you see them grow which is really cool and next to that I can just ask my friends hopefully my boyfriend when I'm gone to water them and then in between hopefully they won't die <laughs> modern day hippie problems guys thinking shh. I was just thinking that this is actually the very first time of the year that I am able to just chill out on my balcony and 
I have to say that I'm truly enjoying it. I just, I love this so much, just being by myself and then just doing this. I probably sound like a housewife, but I have been doing this ever since I was 20. So, I mean, it's just a thing that I like to do. And the result. Ta-da! These little cuties and these ones. Well, this whole thing just ended up here now. My camera is completely covered with potting mix. Obviously, this looks really depressing. And I have to say that yes, when you buy plants or flowers right away, it just gives you satisfaction right away. But I hope in the long run that I will enjoy this more. All it really needs from now on is just water, a whole lot of love. That's what they say, right? Talk to your plants. And um, what am I missing? Water and love, that's it, is that it? All right, this is crazy. This is not spring anymore, it's just summer. It's like 25 degrees today. Woo! Oh my God. Now, I wanna be honest with you guys. Weather in the Netherlands can be highly unpredictable. So it's May now. It could be raining, it could be like winter time, it could be like summertime, you never know. So if you plan your trip to Amsterdam, I guess you'll always be surprised somehow. We just had a wonderful lunch in this crazy beautiful weather. Look how pretty Amsterdam is right now. <sighs> Woohoo! Welcome to the Rijksmuseum. And basically this exhibition is about the relationship between the Netherlands and South Africa. Obviously quite a painful story. I can't help but feel ashamed for the story somehow, but it's quite intense. We're outside again. It's super warm. It was an exhibition with quite a bittersweet ending, of course, because of the riots of last year at the universities in uh, South Africa. I know it's not wise to talk about politics on YouTube, but of course I have to say something about this because I went to the exhibition just now and if you follow me on YouTube, you must know that I have a big love for South Africa, I have a big love for Cape Town and I actually studied about the apartheid when I went there seven years ago so I just can't cope with the idea that people were able to do certain things and still to do certain things. I remember seven years ago that a guy that I met there said history repeats itself which is somehow quite painful but at the same time very much true somehow I think but okay we're now in the garden of the museum it's actually beautiful here so um, let's just uh, try to enjoy the rest of the afternoon talk about uh, what we just uh, saw sexual freedom <laughs> If you want to have a typical Dutch ice cream, go for the rocket. The rocket. Such a beautiful day in Amsterdam. Okay. We just had a wonderful dinner at Spaghetteria, one of the best places to eat, like a simple good pasta in Amsterdam. I have to say that with this climate and with this weather, the Dutchies are so good with really truly seizing the day. All my friends were there spontaneously and we were just hanging out all night. Perfect night. I miss those nights later on always because these days are really rare in the Netherlands. All right, so let's... <laughs> I hope you liked watching this vlog and well, the beginning of spring in Amsterdam. The nature is in blossom and so are we. I hope to see you in the next video and don't forget to keep letting love rule. Love you, bye.